Ruth here, and I'm finally going to try out some gel painting. Um, this one was a uh, no Christmas present last year from my sister, and now I'm just about to, along with the, the gray air as well, and I got some paint, and some, you know, um, pearl, crystal, barrel, well, some very light green pearl. I also have some plain green. Like this uh, art mix, so uh, I think it was like a Tesco or something. This one was for I have no idea. Like this, like plain one paint there. The reason I got green is because I've got some leaves and stuff from the. Uh, the bouquet that uh, was about to get thrown, so I thought I might as well, you know, why not, right? And how do I put this? Okay, so let's look at the. Okay, so in between two things of. Uh, like acetate, kind of plastic. <clears throat> Move through film and discard. Place gel pre place gel press plate on a non-porous surface such as acrylic or glass to protect your work surface. Apply paint or ink either directly to the plate or to a palette for transfer to the plate with a brayer or brush and thin layer. Use soft tools to create impressions in the paint by pressing, drawing, or through the surface of the plate. Place your substrate over the top of the gel press plate or invert the plate on an acrylic mounting panel to transfer your design to your surface. Pull back and reveal your unique print. Use leftover paint on the gel press to create additional prints. It's got cleaning and storing. The rest is not in English. Um, yeah. Basically, put your paint down, broider it for a thin line, do your textures or whatever, put your paper down, then take your paper off. That's basically it. Yes. Clean your plate. Cleaning your plate can be done easily with mild soap and water, baby wipes, baby oil, or hand gel sanitizer. Huh. Pat dry with lint free cloth. Air dry. The best results remove instructional insert in the clear film from both sides of the gel plate and store an upright store upright in the original packaging. Avoid stacking items on top of the plate that can permanently mar the sensitive gel surface. Okay. Well, uh, I'll just put this back in here. Don't think I'll put it in folded, so just in case if I need to, I can read the instructions on the back. Just in case, yeah. So I'll be placing it back in this back. So it says to remove both the clear films and throw them away. Okay. Well, that is static. <laughs> I can probably use it for something else. I doubt you can hear that, but that is static. So I'll put this on my glass mat here. Then, okay, so there's some the Jelly Arts kind of uh, mini tools. So I'll use those, I guess. I did buy them for that. And um, I guess I'll put down some green. I, uh, I do want to try with the ink too. Um, 
just gonna try the food first because I'd, cause I'd have to buy it. Hmm. interesting. Some interesting silhouettes. <laughs>
could be better. Oh, the tiles look like wings. Oh, that.
And that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Well, I guess that's it. So for now, uh, that one ended up pretty good, I think. That was a good start. And those are all of them. So, um, I'm not, next time I might do more with the uh, ink and stencils, just so you know, to see what the difference is, and with no flowers. <laughs> I've had enough flowers for now. <laughs> They're so annoying to print. But it did, the uh, sunflower did come out pretty nicely. Once I got the hang of it, some of the other flowers too. I like that one. The little petals there look kind of like wings. They're fairy wings, you know? Those are not. <laughs> so yeah, I quite like that one. Yeah, so far, so good. Got a handful of prints I don't know what to do with. <laughs> so yes, uh, that's, I believe, everything. Look forward to the next gel printing session, I guess. I do have loads of stencils that I want to try out, so it should be amusing. So thank you for watching, and we'll work out.